Hi guys, I'm Robert Dudzik and today I want to talk to you about scary sound design. Right now is the time of the year when everybody's looking for some scary spooky sounds because it's hard to miss this. Any channel you flip right now, it's gonna be some trailer for some scary movie, horror, thriller or anything which has generate fear. It's the time of year, it's October, <laughs> what's happening? Anyway, I decide to go in the field and take a time and record for you just the different weird objects what will be creating the scary sounds. So I take some time, I record some outside, I record stuff in my garage and I record some in my studio. I put together and I want to show you, but right after this, I want to show you what's happening next to the sounds. Because now, from now, when you're going to go into your garage, or you're going to go in the streets or any place and you're going to see this object, you're probably going to think differently about this thing. Because you're going to see and you're going to hear what's the sound generate after and what you can do this sound so hope it's gonna be inspired so enjoy this short movie and right after this we're gonna move to studio back when you're gonna watch what's going on on the screen with the sounds all right so for now enjoy it and i'll see you in the morning <laughs> Now when I'm done with the old video recordings, I bring all my samples in the Cubase when I cut them all. After editing, I import them to contact and to machine. And now I have a new MK3 machine with my custom patches made based on my recording and pretty much the sound like this. So for sound designer, it's pretty cool because you can play different beats based on your on your own design, whatever you whatever you come with. Uh, but this is not all. I resume my samples and same samples plus other new stuff and variations. I bring them into contact instruments and I start playing with them. So basically each of the samples that I cut, I place them under each individual key. So each individual key have assigned difference my sounds. And like I showed before, I can Touch one key and it's on. I'll sound like this. Piano. Piano with some bone crushings and other stuff, whatever I did. But it sounds kind of a little bit dry right now in this moment. So what I did, I opened the regular revert and I'm assuming no matter which workstation you're working on, it's probably going to have like good kind of revert. And I'm using like the reverb from Cubase, what's called Factory Reverb. And my favorite 
preset is the cathedral because it's giving the big spaces room. So this is how it sounds without. And when you add reverb. And now when I add the cutoff filter to this thing, what is actually called the contact, you can control the depth and the same sounds will be sounds to you like you underwater from your recording. It sounds like you on the ship. So here, of course, like the more reverb you get, the more depth the sound is. Pretty scary already right again. If I want to have more power to this thing, I use the same samples and I mix them with some of my sub basses, uh, some swooshes, hits, other things, whatever I'm using, I bring them in the second additional track in the Cubase, the Cubase and the contact, and all I do is just map them in the same channel, MIDI one. So when I hit the one key, the both channels is gonna play in the same thing. And oh, one more important thing. To get more punch on this thing, I'm using, you see this thing to the left, as the PSP Xeon limiter. And it's just phenomenal. It just give more punch to my sounds. So that's the only things what I'm using and process on my sounds. If you guys are gonna ask me, what I'm using to make the sounds bigger and louder in your face, that's the only thing what I'm using is the PSP Zia. But now I can turn off the reverb and it's gonna be the sounds will be more in your face, more contemporary, so it's not necessarily will be used just for the scary movies, it's for something else. All I do is just play with my cutoff filter. When I place my sounds on the machine, now look at this. When I highlight both of them, when I have insert machine and contact, and I'm gonna start and play same thing just on my keyboard, it's gonna start playing machine, my patches together with contact, so it sounds even bigger. You're feeling inspired right now and you learn something the message what's behind everything what i'm showing you today is to if you want to be successful and you stand out and if you want to stand out from anyone else you have to create your own sound and adding them to the other sounds mix them together but make sure there will be your dna inside any of the track it's very easy to open someone else's library or using some presets what's coming and that sounds fantastic they're great they're designed by very unique people and a lot of times i can recognize the people who designed this sound but i know it's them and they will get the credit not you for using them so if you really want to stand out and you want to be successful in any business you have to be original you have to create your own unique sounds and to do this thing the, the easiest way is just buy yourself simple recorder go in the field and start recording and bring your own sounds just like I do to your digital workstation, like I work in Cubase, and change them, manipulate them, use plugins, effects, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you, but make them sound unique the way how you want them to sound. So, hope you're gonna do this thing, and I wish you all the best, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.